Hey, what is up, you guys? This is Los from the Big Retro Show. And as you know, Retro Mania Wrestling is now available. Not for the consoles, but for Steam. And I'm sorry to say that um, not all of the reviews to Retro Mania Wrestling are positive. As the developers would like you to believe. Now, they recently posted... A video here it says here's what they're saying about Retromania wrestling available now on Steam consoles so I'm not gonna play this video due to copyright but I can assure you that most of the comments on here are positive so that's a good thing for them it is a good thing for them um, let's read some of the YouTube comments shall we uh, this game is by far the most fun I've had in a wrestling game for quite some time. Implement a speed adjustment setting in the options menu for those that want a more authentic WrestleFest motion feel to it. Overall, this title is a gem to professional wrestling. I can't wait for the roster to grow. <laughs> the roster, boy. Neither can I. Neither can I. I think the, rest I think the wrestler's walking speed is way too fast. Other than that, it's pretty solid overall. Okay. Well, we'll wait to see what the Radical radical O-Meter, I don't know what that is, says in the official review before we decide what's what around here. And uh, here's one that says, feels like Fire Pro meets WrestleFest. I guess that was a comment that was highlighted. And there goes any credibility these reviews may have. Hmm, okay. Let's go ahead and look at the replies on that one. Uh, somebody says, why? And the response is, because comparing this to any version of Fire Pro released after the SNES is a joke. And I honestly wouldn't even say it's comparable to some of the latest versions of Fire Pro on the SNES, both in terms of game mechanics and customization. This game has none of the latter. It also doesn't come close to the presentation or production quality of WrestleFest. That game had an over-the-top, attention-grabbing aesthetic that this one quite clearly lacks. Just play the entrance sequences for both side-by-side -side and you'll see how watered-down everything in Retromania looks. Not to mention the actual in-ring action. Oh. It's just people arguing back and forth, it looks like. There was one that I wanted to look at. It's just people complaining that it's not out on uh, PS4 and Switch. Some people love it. This game is too much fun. Still waiting on Switch, PS4. Yeah, I don't know when this thing is coming out. And this is one comment that I wanted to kind of highlight. Bro, can you upload negative review too? LOL. And, and this person says, It seems they specifically only handpicked the reviews that was showering their ass in nothing but praises. They didn't even show any of the positive reviews that left constructive criticism or the pros and cons of the game. Hmm... You're right, half half all does review, half all does review are the YouTubers' friends. Now that comment got me thinking, it's a good point. They didn't show the negative reviews, and why would they? They're trying to sell everyone on Retromania Wrestling. So this got me thinking, what are people saying about this game on Steam? So let's go ahead and check that out. It's got 114 reviews, very positive, that's good. But uh, some something tells me that not every of these, not every one of these reviews are negative. Uh, and there's the first one, it says, there's a lot of adjustments that need to be made to make this game a better experience. It's very obvious that the AI and CPU functions are incredibly unbalanced leading to a less of a fun arcade experience to essentially playing as a cheap as possible just to hold up the AI's unfair balancing. 
That person looks like played the game for 7.4 hours. Okay, so they have a little bit of time. Here's one that's not recommended too. They've only played it for about 1.4 hours. More of a firm no. Well, excuse me. More of a firm not yet than outright no. But really feel the difficulty needs to be addressed. There's another complaint about the difficulty. I wonder if these people have ever played something called the Nintendo Entertainment System. Perhaps in the same way Super Fire Pro Wrestling 3 had the easy type released soon after the original. Maybe something for the next update. Okay. Oh, recommend, recommend. Lots of recommends. But we don't care about those. We just want to see the not recommends because, you know, we have to balance out the PR that's coming out of Retrosoft Studios. Here's one who played it for less than an hour. Don't know how credible that is, but they re they say, not fun, bad interface, and the wrestlers even on the lowest setting will beat you like nothing. Just not fun at all. Here's a person that played it also for less than one hour. I was really looking forward to this game. I like the graphics and style. Variety of arenas and solid roster. <laughs> oh boy. I think the credibility of this one is way low. So we're not even going to finish reading that. Oh wait, wait. The BWO alone made the roster worth it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh gosh, yeah, no, that's not a credible uh, review. Um, here's one, ten, ten, ten and a half hours on the record. I've made some changes to this review after playing a little more and reading some other people's comments on the game. Still can't give it a recommend yet, but I've changed a few things. Hmm, that's 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 interesting. Let's see here. It says, I've made some changes to this review. Yeah, we know that. After 30 years, a spiritual successor and sequel to 1991's arcade classic WrestleFest is here. Here's the problem. 30 years have passed and massive innovations in gaming have taken place. Unfortunately, none of them are on display here. Yes, this is meant to be a classic arcade wrestling game. However, in a lot of ways, it feels like a step back. Let's try and start positive, though. Okay, so there are some positive things mentioned. Um, oh, somebody asking for a refund. It was a BWO guy says that he was asking for a refund. That's too funny. Oh boy, here's one who also played it less than one hour. Been following the game for years, I want to say, and got super excited for the game and is just not fun. Been super pumped for this one and it didn't deliver. Zero match progression, janky controls, spammy AI, harder than the games they were trying to imitate. Here's one who played it for two hours. I was looking forward to this game like many others, but after playing for 40 minutes at the time of typing this, I can say I was not having fun. Others have pointed out that the AI is much stronger than the player, even if you set the difficulty to as low as it can go. <laughs> to as low as it can go. And I noticed that in the second match you have against Nova and Dreamer, that it is indeed the case. My moves would do nothing to either of them, and they would take out so much of my health in a short instant. The button mashing grapple mechanic is so annoying. I have no idea if I have to push the buttons to a rhythm or just mash, mash it like a madman. The only tutorial the game has is at the start of the story mode, and it's very basic. Very, very interesting. Now, so as you can see, you know, not all of these reviews are positive. Looks like a lot of them are though, and I haven't played the game, so I can't give it a review. I'm mainly showing you guys that 
not all of the reviews are going to be positive. There are some negative reviews. It looks like the AI is a little bit too difficult for people. I don't mind a hard game. I mean, I grew up playing WrestleFest, and so, you know, I know what it's like pumping quarters into this machine and trying to get far in the game. Um, you guys know my issues. My issues are the roster, the advertising for this game, and the price. Not to mention that there's no online play and no create a wrestler those are just there's some deal breakers for me and you know as soon as this game makes it to the bargain bin two dollars three dollars you know 50 cents whatever i'll probably pick it up and review it but for now not gonna bother with it um but you know i've seen the reviews to it and i'm not impressed so far let me know in the comments if you have played this, what your take is on it. Is it a good game? Is it a bad game? Is it worth the $30 they asked for? Let me know in the comments. And until the next one, I will see you on the Big Retro Show. Peace.